What's going on, arcade nerds? Uh, me and my bouncing baby boy are uh, on a road trip. And okay, I'm not going to look at the camera. I'm driving right now. I'm going to look at the road and not look at the camera. Okay, from now on, no more camera looks. Me and my bouncing baby boy, we are uh, in this crappy little S, uh, not S10, Ford Ranger, and we are driving to Cincinnati, Ohio, where I'm picking up another Vector Arcade machine. Uh, if you watch this channel, you may know that I love Vector Arcade machines, and uh, it's my intentions to someday own one of each, one of every Vector ever made before I die. I think I'll get there someday, but as of now, it's I still have a long ways to go. Uh, I believe I need, I need uh, it was three, but now it's two more after after I pick up this machine. I'll need two more Cinematronic Vectors, and I'll have one of every one ever made, which is uh, pretty good. I still need a barrier, and I need a warrior. Oh, I'm sorry, four. I need a barrier, warrior, and Sundance. What I'm picking up right now is a tail gunner, uh, which is made by Vector Beam, which is uh, which was eventually bought out by Cinematronics. I kind of throw them in the same category. For example, if I were to get every single uh, Cinematronics Vector, yes, they made a um, Space Wars. Cinematronic Space Wars and the Vector Beam Space Wars, but they're both the same game, so I'm only going to count my Cinematronic Space Wars. See what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so evidently, apparently, what I'm told is that where I'm going right now, it used to be uh, a very large, it was one of America's largest malls. And um, the place went out, of, went out of business and it was all closed up. And I guess there was an arcade in that mall that hasn't been touched for like 10 years. And uh, someone uh, bought the, or you know, is now renting the arcade area out and they're running an arcade again. And, and it's funny because it's, it's supposed to be one of America's largest malls and there's only one business in that whole mall, it's an arcade. So um, anyways, uh, uh, through a buddy who knows a buddy who is storing something for a buddy, in that mall, in that arcade area, um, I'm buying a tail gunner, and so you know, me and my me and my bouncing baby boy, we have been uh, driving for about five hours now. Um, so yeah, so let me catch up with you there, and let's see if they'll let me record, because uh, I'd like to kind of just you know, this thing's been kind of buried in this mall for years. It'd be kind of cool to, um, you know, take some video of it and show what's going on. You know, this entire trip, I haven't farted. Not once. But, uh, my bouncing baby boy navigator over here is, uh, shitting his pants. About had enough of this. All right, I was just showing off my fancy new bumper to my buddy Jeff over here, and uh, all right, Jeff, this is the guy. This is the guy I'm buying uh, the game off of. Well, tell me about this place. I don't know much about it yet. Welcome to Cincinnati Mills, formerly Cincinnati Mall, formerly Forest Fair Mall. I think it's actually got another name right now, uh, but it's not posted up anywhere. It's been under so many renovations. One of the largest malls in Ohio, almost completely vacant. Wow. What do you see when we walk around here? Uh, and it's, it's almost ironic that you caught it on such a beautiful day. A beautiful day. <laughs> we have what you might call a series of leaks. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's, it's really bad. Shame this place is huge. It this has place, a huge parking lot. You know what? 20 years ago, this place was the happening place <laughs> to be. They had a uh, Sega Time Out arcade in here. Oh, really? They had rides in here. There was a, a carousel, a merry-go-round, a scrambler. A huh, bunch of... no joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This place was 
huge. I mean, it was just this was like the all right. Most okay, so who who pays the bills now? I mean, how does this? I mean, there's I how, who, who's who's keeping the lights on? I have no idea. Really? <laughs> there is there is an owner. I I think it's a foreign owner. Okay. I, I don't know how the. I mean, there are. Uh, there is Kohl's and Bass Pro Shop over here. Okay, so, so somebody's paying something. There used yeah. to be a Baby Zoros, they left. Uh, and there, I mean, there was obviously so much other stuff. Sure, sure. But there's nothing now. It's, it's empty. Um, Jesse uh, at Arcade Legacy got in here shortly before uh, the place went completely belly up. And he just happens to be one of the few places that That's still has still an open building, an open... Yeah. Wow. So you can see. All right, let's, uh, let's check this, it out. We are outside of Arcade Legacy. Uh, tell me a little bit about this place. Uh, this is Arcade Legacy. It's been around for over, a, over 10 years. This is the third location here in the mall. And he actually got in here, like I said, shortly before the rest of the mall went belly up. So wow. He's uh, the only thing that survives. And he's actually... You know, doing fairly well in here. This is the first of three locations. He actually has a bar in Northside and another arcade legacy in Northern Kentucky at Newport. But this was the uh, the main one, the first one. And, huh. uh, let me let me let me show the. I guess the uh, the ceilings leaking the, here yeah, in a few yeah, yeah. places. The rest of the mall isn't faring so well. I guess it's, that's all water on the floor. Yeah, well, that's a shame. And it's funny because this is, an, wow, it's a fancy mall. Yeah. Huge mall. Yeah, they, Huge. Had, they used to have a uh, merry-go-round right here that you could you'd get wow. in, the, obviously down here, and it would go up to the second floor and whatnot. Well, let's, uh, let's check this place out, Jeff. Sure. <laughs> Got all these games and stuff. And this is Arcade Legacy. All right. <laughs> Oh, do I have to pay to get in right now? Or, uh, or I mean, I'm just giving you a tour. I'm okay, all right, all right. Jesse. Okay. Jesse! <laughs> yes! This is hey, Jason. Hey. I, um, uh, okay. Well, let's check this place out. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a huge arcade in here. Uh, also sells used games from everything, dating all the way back from the Ataris, uh, NES, just a huge NES guy, uh, and every system in between. Uh, Nathan's usually a nice guy. Usually, huh? Sometimes he's an <laughs> ass. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, guys, ah, I hate to see flat screens though, but yeah, hey, it is cool to see to see it uh, in a Zevius in the wild. He had a CRT in there. Really? And it it died on him, and I don't I don't know. I guess they just went for the quick fix on it. Sure. Let me walk around a little bit and just show some of the games. Ah, got a Tempest running. All right, man. I love to see vectors in the wild. <laughs> Very cool. I, I really do like to see vectors in the wild. Jeff. Yeah, cool. I think this was like the. I think he said like three of these. He had a, cock, or a cocktail version. Okay. And then I think this is like second or third uh, upright that he's had. Very cool. You might be said that uh, I think this is the only vector in. The really? Arcade. Well, you know what happens. They have asteroids, but like oh, asteroids and Yeah. Asteroids dependable at least. Right. <laughs> Moon Patrol. Yeah. Very cool. A bango. Wow. This is actually pipe bango. Got this on Craigslist for $99 one. Really? Yeah. Ran down and picked it up and I asked Jesse, I'm like, hey, I don't have you any know, place to put it right now. I, I wanted a pango forever, yeah. and, and I was every, everywhere I went. They were way too expensive. Then, then, then when I finally got a pango, 
you see them everywhere for, for dirt cheap, and they're, I don't know why. It's just right. it's the way things go, you know? Yeah, this, <laughs> this was just sitting in somebody's basement. They just threw it up on Craigslist. Didn't even have pictures of it, so I asked for some. And he gave me some, and they just had $99 on it, and I'm like, all right, I'll bet it. So, yeah, deal, right? Yeah. It, 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 Anything in the original cabinet for ninety nine dollars is a oh, steal. Yeah, yeah, you know anything. I mean, shit. <laughs> Even a working game for two hundred dollars is worth it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Some people value the monitor at a hundred dollars. Yeah. You know. Very cool. Oh, there's pins over here. you guys to notice something. Look how packed this place is. And this is in the middle of an empty mall. This is like the last place, you know, operating in this mall. So you kind of have to go out of your way to get here. And look at this place, how packed it is. Pretty cool. All right, Jeff, mind if I check out the tail gunner? All right, let's go. Let's go check out what we came for. All right, I'm all. Okay, here is like, I guess, this yeah, is the yeah. graveyard. The graveyard. <laughs> this is where uh, a lot of things have to go for repairs. This okay. used to be a footlocker. You can tell because they have the uh, TVs hanging from the. Uh, oh yeah. But, yeah. Those are CRT televisions right <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> so you, uh, I'm sure you worked out a deal to get the CRTs. Oh yeah. So I did get a favor of. Uh, Digging this thing out, it was. Hey, is any of this stuff? Would he consider the guy, is the guy that owns this place? Would he consider selling anything in here? Jesse? Yeah. Hey, just ask him. I'm sure. He's, is he here right now? That's him. Where? No, over in what? Uh, arcade at the arcade. Oh, is he the guy I just talked he, to? Yeah. And he I owns. asked if it was okay if I walk around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. That, that's all his stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I can't say it's all, but most of it's his stuff. So uh, let me know if you need to move anything. Oh. Or squeeze you around. That was a Zaxxon. Yeah. yeah. It was repainted brown, then painted black. <laughs> Is that? No. I got excited for a second. I thought I'd seen Alien Syndrome. No. Oh my god, it's beautiful. There she is. Wow. And it, it, it's all there, right? Yeah. Oh wow. It worked. Uh, we. It we, worked? It worked. We plugged it in and it. the monitor came on. Um, it's okay. kind of hard to see. There is like a a blue or a purple film on it yeah yeah for you know i'm sure it's for effect but we we did we uh there's i mean we i'll show you the power supply this thing's massive but uh we plugged it in there's like a breaker on there and i guess a fuse was tripped or sure something like that. sure so we we uh hit the switch and on it if the ccpu is original on this this is the version that does not have the led to tell you if it's good or not ah. when it first plugs in so but, wow. Open her up. Oh, uh, gladly. Yeah. Gladly. Uh, <laughs> take this out of here. Sure, sure. But uh, we we plugged her in. And nobody's home, huh? <laughs> well, no, it actually, it came on. Does it play blind? No, the mo the monitor came, came on. It really? worked. Uh, it was wavy, though. Like, the monitor came on, the picture was kind of wavy. Wait, are you telling me this actually, like, sort of plays? Like, yeah. really? No, I'm telling you, this thing... It, uh, right now? Or, or or last time you plugged it in? Last time we plugged okay. it in, it worked. All right, so, well, that's, that's very just, encouraging right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, you'll I have thought, this thing... Oh, no, I, I thought when, you know, when we were talking about it, yeah. I thought I was buying this... Well, yeah, you know, yeah, it worked at some point, you no, know. No, this, <laughs> we, we got this back. Very um, cool. One of these... I, I don't exactly remember what it was, but yeah, one of the fuses blew. One of the probably. fuses blew. Yeah. We tripped uh, and we the breakers. We, we tripped. Yeah, we switched the breaker back on and plugged it in. And this doesn't have a power switch. This thing, you plug it in, it comes on. Okay. So we yeah. plugged it in, and the thing worked. It like it came on. The picture was a little bit wavy, but I was kind of awesome. like, oh shit, that probably awesome. just needs a power supply rebuild. Well then, uh, Roy, the guy who was working on it, all yeah. of a sudden he's like, shit, turn it off, it's on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we saw smoke. Coming out from somewhere in here, I'm sure. Oh, if I no. <laughs> take that board out, you might find a. Yeah, well, that board mark. holds the EPROMs to hold the additional okay. thing. Uh, I know a way to bypass that and just run two yeah. PROMs, or two EPROMs, the bit two larger ones. Yeah. There's like a hack you can do on the board. Okay. But, wow. Yeah, but it worked. I mean, it came on and it, it has Very the, cool. uh, the tail gunner uh, title spin as it comes at you. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, saw I know. It's like, like a 3D shit. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, I saw it working. Wow. Like, Holy shit, it worked! You know, and I'm all excited because 
you know, we scored this thing stupid cheap. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you want to know the price. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear it. This would be great. How much did you I pay was, for it? I will send you a picture of the, when it was originally. This was in a uh, an antique store. Okay. Next to a line of other games. In fact, Jesse bought the rest of the games. One of them was that Spy Hunter over there that's hiding. Uh, a uh, Miss Pac Mr. and Miss Pac Pinball. And, uh, and another Pac-Man. A couple other games, too. But this was in line, and I'll, like I said, I'll send you the picture uh, that I took of it that had a little price tag on it and says, does not turn on, 100 bucks. Wow. Yeah. You know, just uh, yesterday, I was in an antique uh, sh uh, store, mm -hmm. and they had a Frogger converted to Raiden. They won $1,500 for it. <laughs> There's another, yeah, there was another antique mall not far from here that... They had a, a an original Galaga and an original Miss Pac-Man, and the guy wanted twelve hundred for both of them, and neither of them worked. Oh yeah, and I was like, yeah, forget, forget that. Yeah, but yeah, this uh, awesome. this thing actually, like I, I knew it was even the side art looks perfect. good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean it's got a little bit of. A it's kind of scary that you told me smoke came out of that side, unless yeah. unless here's something that's very common. It's possible that there's an NPN and a PNP transistor that are on the soundboard that commonly fail, okay. or the regulators that uh, power those. Right. So there's two. There's two uh, 15 volt regulators, 70, 78, 15, 79, 15 volt are regulators that power those transistors. And those transistors commonly fail, and hopefully you've seen smoke come from that area since it's because right here's your soundboard. Yeah. Right here is your ROM board. And right here's your CCPU. Mm -hmm. If you've seen smoke come from the CCPU, we're probably going to have some troubles. But I'll bet. It came from the soundboard, if we're lucky. <laughs> like All right. You, you need me to like flash a light in there? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I need a flashlight in there. Look at, we can look at the this. This, this entire video is, is going to be dark. I'm going to have to try to. I know. That's I'm going to have to try wondering. to use my editing, my limited editing like, skills. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. It's all there, buddy. I will bet you. Let's see if I can get in here without cracking this monitor neck. All right. Oh. Yeah, it's too dark. I can't get in there. Uh, oh well. Pretty cool though. I see you have the blue board. Yeah. See the, the, the reflection board is blue. That was the first, um, one of the earlier ones. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah. And I hate these because I always have bad luck with the with the built-in flybacks. Oh yeah. And I what I do is I'll hack these to run with a with a CCPU box or the um, ah, Kiltron. Yeah. High voltage. Because these have an extra 78, uh, an extra positive and negative 18 volt regulator that runs this whole uh, circuit here. Yeah. And I just I just yeah, I just disable it. <laughs> See, this is why I know yeah. it was going to the right person because, like, sure. I, I don't know any of that shit. I, just, <laughs> I would have never figured that. Well, out. It, well, actually, if it works, it works, right. and I'll continue to keep it working just the way it is. But if it doesn't, and I'm stumped, I'll upgrade it to the Keltron, you, you know, box. You know, cool. very cool. All right, let's get this thing loaded up. All right, I think I showed around the beginning, and I was gonna, I was gonna turn around, and I was gonna walk away, but I just, you know, Jeff just showed me, just, <laughs> just told me there's like a whole, uh, another room full of games back here. Yeah, <laughs> another, another wing to the graveyard. By the way, there's a nice gyrus. Yeah, watch your step. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff cluttering. I'm sure my bald head is gonna bring in the viewers. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. More games and stuff back here. Here's an Irish cab. Nice Cabriolet missile. There's a Stargate, of course, like you said. Yeah, yeah. that's my Stargate over there. It needs some love. It's doing the, you know, the Williams. How they right. boot up and they have the RAM errors and ROM errors. It was solid for a, a good couple of years and then, and then it started uh, crapping out on us. Well, I think I showed everything I could show. Uh, let's go, let me show you guys what I did, or what we, me and my son and Jeff did to this game, it's wrapped up like you wouldn't believe. So this was a Foot Locker. This, yes, this was a Foot Locker for a number of years. This was actually here for uh, quite some time. It actually, the Foot Locker, I think only left maybe two, three years ago. And uh, this storage, uh, his storage room was actually further down in the mall. And then he, uh, 
got management to agree to let him use this one. Obviously, it's much more convenient. Heck right yeah, it's right next door. Great. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. I wrapped that sucker up really tight. There's like several layers. Why? Because I'm in a pickup truck. <laughs> the Egyptians and, would be proud of you. Yes. <laughs> and, and it's raining outside. So, you know. Okay, let's load this sucker up. Okay, we are back home. Um, it's actually the next day. Uh, I, I, I pretty much got home. You see, my son wanted to, wanted to uh, spend a night in a hotel. And it really wasn't that far away, but he was just, he was so excited about the idea of spending a night in the hotel that I just, yeah, this is okay, whatever, go ahead. Anyways, so it's the very next day, um, got home. Oh, well, also, uh, we drove around everywhere that same, the day after. We, uh, drove to, we went to Dave and Buster's and places like that just to kind of, you know, father, son, hang out in time, you know. But, um... <clears throat> When I was gone, a package came in the mail from Todd Tucky from TNT Amusements. Um, I bought four um, working but with issues uh, Black Widow boards. And I bought an untested Quantum PCB, which I just tested and it just so happens to work. So that's pretty cool. But, oh yeah, by the way, if any of you guys are looking for a quantum board, I'd be willing to trade a spare quantum board working for something. You know, something vector-wise, you know. But, okay, so let's open this sucker up. I've been kind of excited. My wife hasn't seen this at all. And uh, she's standing behind me. <laughs> but <laughs> So, yeah, let's open this sucker up, huh? Got myself a razor blade. I mean, I uh, I used an entire roll of shrink wrap because I was paranoid. It was a thousand two hundred and fifty feet of shrink wrap because I was, because it was raining like hell. And uh, funny thing is, I hung out with Jeremy or Jeremy with Jeff a little bit at the mall. And it was like twelve o'clock. And I know it smells like a swimming pool in here now. Like that, that fresh swimming pool smell. But anyways, um, pool toys. Anyways, at 12 o'clock, the rain stopped and it was done. There was no more rain. So I wrapped this up for nothing. But that's all right, so what? I would much rather be safe than yeah. to be sorry. It was a good waste of $20. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 20 bucks plus. Plus, I stole some of Jeff's shrink wrap, so I actually have more than 1,250 feet of stuff. So what? Oh my gosh. It looks nice. Oh, I know. I can't wait. I can't wait to get this going. It's home. I know. <laughs> I know, I know a lot of you collectors can understand. At least I hope so. I'm not the only crazy one out there, I don't think. Like, it's just, just so huge. But I got this. Been wanting it. This machine. Since I started collecting. I mean, I kind of I kind of went through. I didn't realize what it was yet or nothing. But, you know, when I first started collecting games, somehow I really liked the Vector vector games. And I always thought, well, that, that would be one to have, you know. And now here it is. We have it. <laughs> oh my god. If the blanket wasn't there. I'm gonna raise a blade some more. I don't want to clip it either. And here's the thing. This cabinet is close enough where I'll, I'll kind of consider it a survivor. And you know, I used to do like a total rescore on everything that ever came in. But I mean, I don't know. This is this is nice enough where. I think I'm gonna leave it leave it be. I don't want to. Uh, I'm, I you almost feel like, feel like you're ruining it if you over restore it. Sometimes it does. It's not original anymore. It lost its soul. I think it depends on the game. It depends on the game. It's the, yeah, it depends on the game, and it depends on the condition you get it in. Yeah. This is kind of like 
a survivor on its own. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a, just a light, I'm not going to do a restore, I'm going to do a touch up, a fix up, a, something like that. Like, let me see in the camera. I don't know if you can see this, hold on. You see, you see that bracket right here? That, I mean, I, I'm going to sand that, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to replace the missing knob on top of the joystick. I'm going to do little things like that, but I'm not going to like strip the entire cabinet down and paint it. That's that's uh, crazy. This is a survivor. It's not, you know. But okay. Oh, I just want to see this out of the cabinet, out of the shrink crap. Okay, well, we're getting there. By the way, what do you think, Kelly? I like it so far. <laughs> How long ago was it that we seen one of those bezels on uh, eBay? I don't remember. We were like debating on like, should yeah, we was buy that? Was, it was like crazy <laughs> high money. I was debating on just buying the bezel. That, you know, obviously you need all the rest of the parts. <laughs> But I'm like, well, maybe I just come it together. Can. Yeah. You collectors know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's how you end up with a whole bunch of parts. Oh yeah, that's how we all end up with all these parts. And then hopefully we we share those parts with everyone else when we can really get what we want. It's really hanging on on there. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, this is thick. It's this it is. like a quarter inch thick of plastic if you count all the air gaps in it. <laughs> well, it didn't get wet. I'll guarantee it didn't get wet. <laughs> this is wrapped up almost as good as when I got that Space Fury from Kentucky. Oh, yeah. That was another example of we wrapped it up so good, and then we're done wrapping it. It quit, <laughs> it quit raining. <laughs> yeah. It's usually what happens. Oh. Okay, so let me uh, move the camera around and let's show you what the game looks like a little bit. Well, keep in mind, this has not been cleaned up yet. Uh, we're definitely going to do some cleaning. I took off the back door and I noticed something funny. Where the hell is the speaker? <laughs> you know, so uh, <clears throat> this is going to have some minor issues here and there. I, I, I know what it is. I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, I might fix this cooling door up, repaint it. Uh, these bars are obviously going to be removed. Nobody wants that. And uh, I may or I may not, may or may not remove the uh, property uh, number tag thing there. Uh, <laughs> I just had a, just had this key in a few seconds ago. See right here, it looks like someone got the speaker out of their car and wired it all up in there and and they hooked up this goofy potentiometer right here. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to fix that of course. <clears throat> no biggie. I want to put an actual six by nine in there, like original. Now, this has a crack. Look like somebody glued that back together. No biggie, it's okay. This has a chunk missing here. The side art is definitely missing in my belly. Duh. Yeah. It's all there. So, there's my uh, Century cocktail rip-off cocktail. So, I guess the only thing to do now is to plug it in and fix it and all that, right? Well, let's do it. Oh! 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 
Sorry. Tell you what, this is what you do. You want to see this thing working? Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit that bell icon on the bottom right around here and it'll let you know when this video comes out where I show you this thing working. Have a good one guys and uh, only you can prevent vector fires.